What's the word world? It's your man's Veracity TT back again with another tutorial. So I was watching the homies Bolo video and he made a video about um, Studio 1.7 and he was trying to figure out how to route sound outside of impact. So I'm going to show you how to do that today because there is a way to do it. Even though he was asking for Studio 1 to add it, there's a way to do it. All right. So I'm going to just drag and drop it over there just like you saw. First thing, I don't know if y'all know this, you can click the logo here and change the color. Since I got the MPC One Plus, I like this red, it look hard. So I'm gonna use that one, okay? All right, so I want y'all to look right here where these two little circles at. You see that? That's for stereo. What you can do is you can preset this up and make this the default. So when you drag sound over here, it'll already be set up. So I'm gonna show y'all what I mean. First look over here, you need this open. See what I'm doing? Need that open. And then you'll see when you click these in, it'll start adding channels uh, down here inside the mix rack. So like right here, you can see everything is only going to this one stereo channel. That's fine if you like all your drums on one track, but I don't. And down here, you got mono. So you can make it mono if you wanna do that for your kick and bass or um, an 808 or whatnot if you got it in here. But I like my stuff on stereo and I'm gonna preset it up to be stereo. And if I just happen to drop that one kick or something in there, I'll just manually change that to the bass, uh, to the mono, uh, you know, depending on the situation and the circumstances. So for now, I'm gonna just do this. So let's have one, uh, you know, the first pad going there. This one, just click on the two, see how it's uh, showing up down there. That's all you gotta do. And you don't have to do this every time because once I do this one good time, I'm finna make this the default. That's why I haven't dropped sound in, so I can make this the default, because I might randomly put sound in here. So I don't want to make that the default, you know, coming up to that same pack every time. Unless that's something you just know you're going to use the same drums, you can set it up like that and do whatever you please. But I'm going to do it like this. This way, you'll have control over all your drums, right? All right, so there you go. They're all down there, right? So um, let me get some sounds. So I got this boss up kit from Exclusive Heat. You know, if you're from Detroit, if you know, you know. All right. So he uh, sent me this for free. So I haven't checked it out yet, but let's see what we got here. I'm going to just do this so I can get this over here on the side. All right. So we in Studio One. Okay. So, um matter of fact it probably make more sense to just do this like this there we go i'm gonna just load it in here that way i can put studio one back large all right so can drag this clap right here let's do I like that drag that snare so see it down there that's that's two that's three and you can also see the numbers here one one two three four five six you feel me etc so that's all you got to do is just you got to set this up one time but like I showed y'all I'm going to clear that, clear that, and this is how you save it. So you want this to appear like this every time, make it the default. See this little icon up here? You just store as default preset, right? So now it's going to show up like this every time. So I'm going to just close this out, remove track and instrument. See, it automatically delete all those tracks it made. And then I'm going to just put it back in like this. And then y'all can see it's already set up and it's rooted. And that's how you set it up. Studio One just wanted to give you the ability to be able to set it up how you like it specifically. But I don't know. Maybe they should just auto route it like this. All the audio is cut out, unfortunately, y'all. So I got to remake this part of the video. But it is what it is. Y'all know how that go. But anyway, I made this to mono before Studio One closed out. And I also named it. So when you name your tracks down here, it also names it. So you'll be able to um, see what you send it, where you send it stuff. 
so that is track three that must be this one so if we click on three yeah you can see three right here is snare and that's all you got to do y'all that's it um if you don't want it like this you can always just specifically save this as a preset like i made a folder right here you can create a new folder so let's put vtt i'm gonna do hip-hop so now um the fuck let's do the fuck so when you go right here you can see i got two folders one vtt and you can click it and it'll auto change it or you can you see i just made the hip-hop folder so that's how you do it you can even make folders create your different drum little packs or whatever and drop them in different folders but i would rather just have it all under one uh since you know i'm me so i would i would make it hip-hop specifically and unless i started getting too many different uh you know what i'm saying too many different drum packs or whatever for this one little drop down menu then i start organizing one for trap one for r&b and all that but really i will probably just put it all in this one folder but i just wanted to show you how to make the folder in the presets or whatever remember you can always click here store as default and that that's just how you do it so whenever you close out and reload it you good you gucci you gucci everything down here so yeah that's how you do it um if you got any questions let me know oh yeah i want to show y'all something before i go i got some cold little videos coming for y'all guys yes sir ski y'all see that yes sir ski